In this video, I'll be going over LTE, Bluetooth, and RFID technology in Packet Tracer. I'll begin by going to the Wireless Devices tab and grabbing a cell tower and a central office server. I'll then connect both of these to our network. Now we'll set up our central office server. I'll go to Configuration, Backbone, and we'll give it an IP address. As you can see, our cell tower is already set up for us, but we'll need to give our server a domain name. Now that we have a domain name, we'll need to enter it into our DNS server. We'll go to Services and DNS to put on our entry. Now we should be able to connect to our network. I'll go to my smartphone. I'll disable our wireless and enable 3G, 4G. Once we're connected, we should be able to contact our registration server. It may take a while for the first time. Once we're connected, we can now manipulate our network remotely. Next, we'll be going over Bluetooth technology. We'll select our portable music player and our Bluetooth speaker. First, I'll add a wireless card to our portable music player. Then, we'll set up our wireless. Next, we'll connect it to our remote server. Once it's connected, we can then set up our Bluetooth. I'll press Discover under the Bluetooth tab and we can see our Bluetooth speaker. Now we'll pair it and when we turn on our portable music player it'll begin playing music through our Bluetooth speaker. Now I'll show you how to set up an RFID reader and its cards and then integrate them into our network. I'll go to the Industrial tab, select an RFID reader, and then three cards. One of our cards will name the home key. Under Attributes, I can change the card's ID by double-clicking it. The other two cards I'll randomize. Now I'll set up our reader.
once we're connected, we can set up some rules. We'll change the name of our RFID reader. Now we'll set rules under the condition tab. The first rule we'll call RFID open door. We'll set our RFID reader status is valid and then we'll set our action as front door lock unlock. We'll still need a couple more rules. We'll name our second rule RFID lock door. We'll set our RFID reader status is invalid. And then we'll add a second condition RFID status is waiting. We'll use our match any then we'll set our action to front door lock is locked this way by using the any if either of these conditions are true it'll lock our door finally our last rule will be the rfid key we'll have our rfid reader card id equal 225 which is the ID of our home key and then we'll set our RFID reader status to valid as the action with these three rules we can now bring our home key over the RFID reader and it will read our home key as valid and unlock our door if we use the other keys, we won't have the same effect since they don't have the same ID.